Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to Inner Healer. It's your girl Shakri, and today we're going to be talking about friends, female friends to be specific. Um, it's been a lot of talk about like how people aren't really, really real friends and stuff like that. And like sometimes that is true, but that's not always the truth. And I would really like for people to like really get out of that mindset because if you stay in that mindset, that's what you're going to attract. You're going to attract fake phony, messy friends. Why? Because you want that vibration, period. Me personally, I think that friends are frequency. So whatever frequency you are on, those are the kind of people that you are going to attract. Um, energy, like you have to match someone else's energy for y'all to even be intertwined with each other. You can't be high vibrational and then have a messy friend. That don't even make sense. Or maybe you can in uh, we're going to get into that later about having different friends for different things because people think that you're only supposed to have one group of friends and those are the only friends that you hang with. That's not even true. So like this is kind of like to debunk some things too. Like they always say like females are messy. They always insane. They always gossiping. Stuff like that. Like, well, did anybody ever think that feminine energy whether you are male or female, feminine energy is the dark energy anyway. It's the moon. Feminine energy is ruled by the moon. When does the moon like shine the brightest? When do we see the moon? When it's dark outside. So feminine energy is dark anyway. And dark doesn't necessarily have to mean bad. Feminine, feminine energy goes off of feelings. So I feel like this is right. I feel like these people are right. And sometimes our feelings are wrong. Sometimes our feelings be out of whack. Y'all know how it be. We have a period every month. And our emotions be way out of whack. So you can't tell me that you haven't had a situation where you were in, you were in a situation where you felt like these weren't your friends. Yeah, we've all been through, been through that. We've all been there. We've all then lived a little life, you know, so we can point things out when we see stuff on the internet, but can we point it out in our real life? That's what we here to point out in our real life. Friends are frequency. They, they match your energy. They really match your energy. So whatever type time you want, whatever you attract, that's the type time that you want. Really? Like that's something that we have to really be mindful of. We also have to be mindful of like watching all this stuff on social media. Social media is not going to tell you how to be a friend. Neither are TV shows. Like people always want to associate TV shows or social media with friends groups. Like you'll see a whole friends group and they'll be taking pictures, flicking it up on social media. Whole time, these girls don't even like each other. But they showing y'all only the bright side, the good side of friendships. Friends are frequency. If you have if you have friends and, and y'all all girlfriends, it's like having your sisters. There's something called sibling rivalry. And it doesn't have to be sibling rivalry where we're fighting or we're like really like hating each other because that's not the that's not the kind of frequency that you even want to be around. I see in the comments too many people like that's why I don't have friends or that's why I don't hang out with people. No, you don't have friends because of yourself. You don't hang out with people because you're nasty yourself. Like that's something that we keep it real. Be honest with yourself. Sit down with yourself. Don't Exclude everyone else out of it and think of every friend group or friendship that you done had and why did it end? Or why is it still going right now? Like this is something that we have to self-reflect, self-reflect, take self-accountability for real. Put a mirror on yourself because your friends are like a mirror. Like every relationship that I think of, I think of a mirror. Somebody is shining something back on me that is a reflection of myself. So if I think that you messy, hold on, maybe I need to check my own temperature because if you messy, then that means I'm messy, right? If I think you're a good person, if I think that you're doing good, if I think that you, you know, you the person that I want to be around all the time, then, hey, what's up, boo? Okay. I think that's that part about myself, right? Like we have to stop using our friends as accessories because some people use their friends as accessories. Like, oh, you bad, I'm bad. We about to be bad together. Whole time y'all don't like each other. Y'all don't like each other. Or you have the girls who, they the pretty girls and then they want to hang with the girls that they deem as less attractive so that when they're around a bunch of boys or guys or fellas or whatever y'all into, 
you thinking that they going to come to you because you feel like you look better than them. Remember, I said feminine energy is based off of all feelings. <clears throat> no facts, all feelings. <laughs> I know some people when they were children, because this is, th this was told to me as a child too. Like those, not your friends, you need to stop hanging with them. But the thing is like, you know, the older people in our life, our moms, our aunts, our grannies, our, our aunties, our cousins, anybody that was older than us that could see what was happening at the time that it was happening because they were on the outside looking in, they had good information for us. But here's one thing that they didn't tell us. Life gives you knowledge. Living gives you wisdom. Yeah, you can tell me something and that's just telling me something. You're giving me the knowledge. You equip me with the knowledge. Okay, so now I have to go out and live it in order to have that wisdom. You could tell me all day, this person is not my friend, that person is not my friend. But if I never see what you see, then now I didn't cut a friendship short. Why? Because someone else told me something. You're telling me from your perspective. I never even got to see it from my perspective because I cut that person off before you even gave me a chance to even see what you were seeing. So a lot of times we do have to see stuff for ourselves or like somebody can just tell you something and maybe you'll believe it. But like I said, life gives you knowledge. Living gives you that wisdom. Can't nobody tell me nothing. I have to do it first. I have to see it first. I have to live it first in order for me to be equipped with that wisdom so I can go on. People will tell you that. Well, they won't even tell you, like, like I said about the whole social media and TV shows and everything like that. You're thinking that it's only one way to be a friend that everybody is just going to be so happy, go lucky all the time. You're going to be talking every day. You're going to be hanging out every day. Like that's not reality. That's just not reality. So stop looking at TV. Stop looking at social media. Stop looking at all of that. If you're trying to get the blueprint on a friend. That's not reality. That's not the truth. It's something that is for entertainment. So like people think that you're supposed to talk to your friends every day. If you're grown, you're irresponsible. If you sitting up on the phone gossiping, well, I'm not even going to say gossiping. If you sitting up on the phone for hours every day with, with friends, you're irresponsible as an adult. Like how can you do that as an adult, sit on the phone with your friends all day? What kind of work are y'all getting accomplished as adults? Adults have families, adults have households that they have to take care of, adults have children that they have to take care of, adults have, you know, their spouse, adults have built, like they have things that they have to take care of. So how can you sit on the phone and talk to your friend all day? Not possible, right? Okay. And then like, so when I say that, like friends are able to get low every once in a while. Like I don't talk to my friends every day, but when we talk, tea gets spilt. That's something that I learned along the way. Like, I'm not going to talk to my friends every day like I did back when we were teenagers. When we were teenagers, we had all the time in the world. After school, we could hang out after school. We can talk on the phone after school. If we wanted to stay up all night and then be in trouble in school because we falling asleep in class, that was our business back then. But today, right now, the life that we live right now, we can't sit up on the phone and just talk to our friends all day. We can't hang out with our friends every day. Probably not even every weekend. But one thing you do have to do, you have to make time because this is a relationship. These are relationships. So if you're in a relationship, which you are in a friendship, a friendship is a relationship, then you have to cultivate it into what you want it to be. Because like I said, it's a mirror. It's reflecting back on you. Something that you don't like about somebody else. Check yourself. Is that something that you see in yourself? Okay. Okay. So if you see that in yourself and then you're seeing that in them and you don't like that in them, then they're just shining back on you what you give out, right? Right. So remember uh, a little while ago, earlier in the video, I was talking about like, you, you have different friends for different things. Like, I have different friends for different things. I have friends that if I want to bounce business ideas off of each other, then I can do that. I have friends that we talk about paranormal things. Like I have this one friend, we talk about some of the craziest things. If you could be a fly on the wall when we talk a bull, but those are really, really interesting things that we talk about because we both have that weird energy about ourselves. Like we were in, in my friend group, like 
back in high school. So th this friend right here, this is my friend since sixth grade. Since the sixth grade, we were literally friends since sixth grade. So we were always friends. Like we probably had a break maybe once throughout this entire time. We're in our thirties now, but this friend, we were friends since sixth grade and we always talked about like the weirdest things. And that was my only friend that I could talk about with those things because my other friends, like growing up in the hood, like I had my hood friends that I was out, we outside. What? Cause we was outside. Okay. But this friend, like we talk about things like <laughs> UFOs and the openings in the sky and like, uh, aliens and things like that those are things that really really interest me so when I found out that she was into this she found out that I was into this like because that's not something that you just like you know start talking to somebody about you have to like warm up the people and see like what like what are you really into because as as you get older you do change like you may not have the same friends. I'm fortunate enough to have some of the same friends. Some friends have fell off and some friends are still around. But this friend, like this has been like, we've been rocking. We've been rocking. And this friend, like we, we talk about, we don't only talk about paranormal stuff, obviously, but like that is something that we are both really interested in. And that's something that we talk a lot about. We do. Then you have to have your friend. Well, I I have my friends that I talk about marriage and motherhood with. I have married friends who have children. Not all of my friends are married with children. So these are things that I talk about with them. Like, what are we going to do with our children? People go through things in relationships and a lot of times it's very similar. Like it's very, very similar because I mean, what's a lot of things that you can go through in a relationship? Like, especially if you with that one that you supposed to be with, like, <laughs> I have my friends <laughs> go and shake that shake, 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 shake. I have those kind of friends. Like, and like, I need that. Cause I then I have my friends that I talk about astrology and numerology and spirituality, things like that. So I can't be all spirituality, all paranormal, all marriage and motherhood. Like, mm -mm, I really need that. That balances me out. I have different friends for different things. So I'm not going to tell anyone to have just one set friend group because to me, that doesn't make sense. Everybody's not always into the same things that you're into. That's how people start to grow apart because if I would have went on my spiritual journey and then just said, forget everybody. Well, I did a little bit like, you know, you, when you go on your spiritual journey, you're going, you're going down a rabbit hole. You're going deeper and deeper into like different, different worlds. And some people just won't understand the things that you're going through. So yeah, I did cut myself off from the world for a while, but when I started to balance everything out, it was more so like, hold up. You can take the girl out the hood, but you can't take the hood up out me. I'm sorry. You can't, but that's like, I still need to know. Like, I still want to know what's what for real. I do. <laughs> like that's just that's just the real of it and like when I talk about like my friends from back home like those are my dogs those are the people that I've been through the most with like when I really really think of it like those are the ones that I went through the trenches with they say you like I said they, they tell you that you will grow apart from people when you grow older that's true in a sense and then it's not true in a sense my grandmother just passed away in 2021. My grandmother had the same friend since I was born all the way until she took her last breath. So when people tell me that you can't have friends for a long time, I never believed that. Like I never believed it. That was not something that I ever believed because I watched these two ladies do everything together. Like, well, not everything. Of course. I mean, they had their families. They had to take care of their families. But like when when I came around, my grandma was already retired. Her friend was already retired. So when I came around, they were able to hang out and do things together like this. So I don't believe that. That was her best friend. But my grandma had friends all the way, like the same friends until they passed away. Because the out of my out of their friend group, my my grandma's best friend is the only person still living. So it wasn't never an issue of you can only have 
one friend group or you can only like you will expire friends or anything like that. I don't know how long they were friends, but I know that they were friends all my life that ever since I could remember. I don't look at it as you can only do this one way. There's not one way to be a friend. There's not one way to like look at life, period. We're not, we're not given a blueprint on anything. We just have to go through life and live it. We just are living like we're living and that's how we're getting the wisdom. Remember I said life gives you knowledge. Living gives you wisdom. You can only get this wisdom by living it. Someone can tell you, tell you, tell you till they blue in the face, but that doesn't mean that the same thing that happened to them is going to happen to you and you're not going to resonate with their story. We all have different energies. You don't have to talk to somebody every day for that to be your friend. Like, I don't know where people get that from, but adults, well, me and my friend group as adults, like, and then when I see other adults, like adults don't just sit on the phone all day or hang out every day. Like, I don't see how that's possible. Okay. And then some people say that they don't have friends because they don't know where to meet friends. Some people meet friends on social media to each their own. I don't, but to each their own. Some people could meet friends on social media and it flourish. Not saying that I would never do it because I mean, I really don't know, but I've never done it. Uh, you can meet friends at whatever it is you're into. You can go to Zumba classes. You can go to yoga classes. You can go to network events. You can go to the playground. You can go to... Hell, you can even be at the mall and meet friends. You can meet people wherever you are. It's just, are you going to be that standoffish, stank face person? Or are you going to be welcoming and inviting? Are you going to have on the face like a smile or not even a smile? Are you going to have that welcoming aura about you? Some people just have that stay away from me attitude. And because you have that stay away from me attitude, everybody stays away from you, your friends included. Something else I forgot, like if you have a job, then you have friends at work. Like some people say that they have friends at work. Now, why friends at work never work for me? Uh, we work at the same place. We get the same kind of money. Um, and it, this is me just personally. Everybody is different. This is me personally. I don't want to work with people and be friends with them because I don't need you to know who I am outside of work. Cause who I am outside of work, I'm ratchet ratchet <laughs> I'm ratchet and I'm not about to be trying to put on outside of work I don't gotta put on outside of work so I'd rather just keep you where you are now I have you at work we don't have to exchange numbers or anything like that we can talk while we're at work we are in the front same frequency while we're here but me personally when I get off I let my hair down well I haven't worked in like five years, like punch the clock for anybody in like five years. But when I did, like I talked to my friends at work, like though I have worked, like remember friends for everything, work friends. I had those too before. So it's like, you just, you just have to put yourself out there. If that's what you want. There's even there's a uh, Facebook groups. Like I, I'm, I'm in a stay at home mom Facebook group. And also when I think of like the job, I also think of like a lot of people are working at places that they don't even like. So why would you want to be friends with somebody who reminds you of the place that you don't like so much? Now, again, that's only my experience. I don't want to be friends with you outside of work. And then when you're cultivating a relationship, like when you're cultivating it, you have to get to know this person. Like another thing that people don't talk about is how feminine, the feminine energy is chaos. It's chaos. Like, so you, it's control, it's chaos. It's like the dark side of it all. So it's more so like, don't try to control it. Just let it flow. Let the relationships flow. Some people want to be friends today and then they want to go to freaking, oh, let's take a trip to Africa tomorrow. Like, you don't even know this person. Why are you trying to, like, stop? Pump your brakes. Like, okay, you haven't had friends in a long time and we can tell because you're being thirsty. Like, stop. But, like, just cultivate that friendship. Like, set time aside. Now you, if you're meeting new people, now you have to set time aside. If you are a mom and a wife 
and you met your friends at the playground. Now you can go to the playground. Y'all can meet up at the playground, take your children to the playground, and then now you can sit and talk. But make sure y'all keep your eyes on them children, okay? It's crazy people out here. But, like, you can talk while you're at the playground. If you are, like, meeting someone at yoga or Zumba or at a networking event now like you you have a place where you can meet up with them and then if you want to talk to them on the phone like you set aside time to talk to them on the phone like that has you have to fit that into your schedule now like everything else is into a schedule now you have to fit that into your schedule maybe you have a set time for your children to go to bed and then now you can talk to your friend for about an hour i don't i don't think people should be talking all alone like I don't even know why I'm saying that. Because when I talk to my friends, like I said, I don't talk to my friends for a long time. So when I do talk to them, we be on the phone for hours. Girl, just busting it up for hours. But yeah, like you have to cultivate the relationship. Like you would do with your man, you have to cultivate the relationship with, with your female friends too. Why? Because like how you going to get to know somebody if you're not talking to them? And some people like... These days we have texting. Texting is so easy. Yeah, you can text. But I mean, like, I need to know what the background of your house sound like. And that's just, I'm real observant like that. I really need to know what the background of your house sound like. Especially if you one of my mom friends. And if I hear your children going buck wild in the back and you ain't doing nothing, you just ignoring them. Like, not saying that children can't play, but if I hear like somebody screaming, crying, but I mean, everybody is just not as attentive as you. If, if my children are screaming, this conversation has to be cut short because something is happening with my babies. Like they're more important than whatever it is we're talking about. Like, no, you can hold on or you can hang up. Like, no, your vibe attracts your tribe. However you are, you want to attract those kind of people to you. So you want to make sure that Whatever you are attracting to you is something that you like. So whatever you, it's how you act, right? And then when I was talking about like, <laughs> when I was talking about like, don't try to control the situation. Like don't try, uh, backtrack. You can find people at book clubs, at the bookstore, things like that. That's something else that is really popular. A book that, uh, because I'm about to talk about a book, it's called Losing Control, Finding Serenity. I think it's by... Daniel Miller or David Miller it's something D Miller it's a really good book it's talking about control remember I said don't try to control just let it flow because females always want to control something don't try to control it just let it flow let it flow let it go it's going to go the way that it's supposed to go but that book that's a good book that's a really good book maybe you should read that if you are like always trying to control everything around you like no find some serenity in situations and then some people will let a friendship go over one misunderstanding, but they'll keep on going back to their boyfriend, their baby dad, their husband, whoever, who they're given chance after chance after chance. Why are you cutting your female friends off so easy? Some people need to be cut off, but some people like really do make honest mistakes. So if something is bothering you, like why not just address it head on address it when it's happening so that it doesn't build up so that you're not festering anger against someone like you don't want to like well I don't want somebody around me that feel like I did something to them and then they're just letting it build up and then like they want to blow up like a year from now or even a month from now or even tomorrow if I did something to you today please let me know today because that's how I am. If you did something to me, I'm going to let you know. Another thing, y'all got to stop buying friends. Like, stop buying y'all friends. Like, if somebody want to be cool with you, you don't have to buy them. You don't have to buy things for them, for them to hang out with you. You don't have to do things for them, for them to hang out with you. If somebody really want to hang out with you, then they going to hang out with you. They going to hang out with you because you a vibe. You a whole vibe. Like, that's what you're going to hang out for. I also want to talk about how, like, friendship is not a sport. Like, it's really not a sport. You don't have to compete with your friends. Like, that's not what we're in this for. We're not in it to compete with each other. Like, I like to be around people who, like, we can help each other out. Like, it's not just a one-way street type of situation. Like, it's not you doing everything or me doing everything. I want to hang out with people who, like, it's a whole vibe when we hang together. I don't want to compete with you while we're hanging out. Like, so, like, those are the kind of people that I always like hanging out with. But anyway, like it was more so like a, like 
we not we not dealing with the same kind of dudes like that's corny to me too like yo friends in 2022 is different than friends used to be back in 06 obviously because my friend groups in 06 how lit we were like i don't see them young girls being lit like that i see young girls they want well obviously i said i used to be fighting but young girls they want to be fighting they want to be dealing with the same boys like young girls is just way far left these days so everything i do i always re relate it back to astrology so Aquarius rules over friendships. The 11th house rules over friendships. So like more so I look at that as like we can do everything. We can do better together. We're better together. I feel like when you have good people around you, it pushes you to be better. It pushes you to be good. When people are elevating, you should want to elevate too. Never ever be jealous of your friend's accomplishments. Never ever ever. Always congratulate your sis congratulations sis like yo i'm proud of you like you have to have that kind of energy because when you start winning do you want your friends to be jealous of you no you want to always make sure that your friends are going up and up and up you don't want to be the only one up here and then your friends down here and then that's where the disconnect comes from because you are superior to them or rather they feel or you feel or something like that when you start to elevate and your friends stay down here, it's time for you to go to different friends. Now it's time for you to have different friends. Like not saying that you have to like all the way cut them off, but if they showing that they jealous of you, yeah, cut them off. But if they not showing that they like jealous of you, they just showing that they just want to stay stagnant because some people just want to stay stagnant, right? Okay. I, I love you from a distance, but I have to go up here. Now I have to meet friends that are up here or I have to meet friends that are up here so that they can keep on encouraging me to climb higher, right? So it's more so like your stock goes up when you have good juju, like good things around you, like good, like juju is like luck. So like, and I wouldn't even necessarily say luck. Like when you just have a good vibe, when you, when you a whole vibe, like you're going to attract people. That's a whole vibe. So you want to be around people who are like putting your stock up and you're putting their stock up. Like the price goes up when we together, like we can go further together. Yes, you can go far by yourself, but you, we can go further together. All in all, this video was more so to tell you like, just pick people wisely. Don't be out here doing all that fight and don't fight your friends. Like I, I feel like a little argument, okay, might be suffice. And then y'all sit down and y'all talk about it. Like not even an argument, like y'all have a disagreement. Then y'all sit down and y'all talk about it. But if you still have like some kind like animosity in your heart, it's time for you to just let that person go. Like really just let that person go. Don't keep on like holding somebody back. Like I feel like if you have animosity in your heart after like y'all went through something, you're holding that person back and then you're, you're being fake. You're putting on a front when you get around them and it's like, nah, you shouldn't do that. Just let that person go so you can go your way and they can go their way. But all in all, like just have good friends, be a whole vibe, just be like, be happy. Like, really be happy that somebody wants to be around you, right? So, that's my spiel about friends in 2022. Like I said, friends in 06 is different how friends are in 2022. But all in all, like, my friends are lit. They lit. Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe this video to this video. And let me know down, in, down below, like, are you a friend? Oh, a question. A question, a question that I feel like everybody should ask themselves. What kind of friend am I? What kind of friend am I? You write down the qualities in, that you are in a friend and you attract those kind of people. But other than that, peace.